Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zena and today's video we're gonna give this leather top round table a makeover. I start with sanding, very light sanding, my top with 220 grit sandpaper. I wanted to make sure that my paint or even the primer will stick to the leather since it kind of has a shiny or shiny finish to it. And after I was finished, I cleaned it with TSP, then start giving it one coat of, or my first coat of primer sensor, oil-based primer, of course, to prevent any leaking. For this table, because it was the, the top was leather, I wanted to make sure, you know, to work safely with it without you know leaking or scratching or peeling paint so i gave it like two coats for this paint we're using phenomena paints i received these for the uh, three samples from the company to try it the four ounces jar actually finished the piece from outside and inside and In some areas inside i gave it like two coats because i didn't prime it and still i have some in my jar that was amazing. I was impressed actually. It's very thick paint. It gives you thick coverage and smooth. You will not see your wood or your, um, <clears throat> you know how sometimes you give your piece first coat and you still need the second one? Not with this paint. And the same process for the top part. I gave it one coat of the Wild Flamingo color by Phenomena Paints. And after that, we're gonna do our, or, or we're gonna use the other color called watermelon. So now uh, we're gonna use watermelon color. It's a little bit bright light color and what I'm gonna do is I have this a plastic wrap it's kind of they call it tape and drape something like that anyway so I'm gonna dip my brush a little bit in the water co watermelon color then paint my piece and keep spraying so I'm using a little bit of paint and a lot of water I want to create a texture but I still want to see the wild flamingo color underneath this watermelon color if you know what I'm saying so um, I sprayed it with water then I'm gonna cover it with a plastic then I'm gonna use my rubber roller if you don't have a rubber roller it's all right you can use your hands you're gonna have a perfect texture and you you know you're gonna get the same result as I'm getting with a rubber roller but the rubber roller kind of press that or the, the plastic on the paint so you're gonna see more texture if you know what I'm saying <laughs> So I'll keep pressing on the plastic wrap and use my rubber roller all around it. I'm going to show you if you want to fix the edges or if you want to add more. This plastic wrap is so easy to work with. If you don't like the texture, it's very simple. You can add more paint, a little bit less water and do the same thing, cover it and use your roller. It will give you the same or more texture. I'm sorry guys, I was trying to cut my daughter off, but she was enjoying me working. Actually, she was helping me with this project. So the same process I'm going to do for the whole table or the side table or the rock table. I don't know what you want me to call it, but the top, I'm not going to do that because I want to add a gold leaf to that. And we're going to get to that in a minute. For this texture, if you want to see it in a different color, I already made or painted a piece before with the same technique. I can attach the link up there. You can just click on it and watch the video if you would like. So for this, same, uh, for this part, the same process, paint it. I did uh, change a little bit. I put a little bit of water, not a lot as the first one. 
and I'm just gonna cover it with a plastic and do the whole same thing. So the more messy the plastic is, the more texture you're gonna get on your piece. If you felt like there is a little bit texture on it, just lift it, lift up the plastic and place it again. Try to make it wrinkly with your hands and use the rubber roller again and again until you get the right texture that you like it. So I'm going to do the same process to the whole piece. You can definitely use the plastic, uh, your plastic sheet over and over and over again. But for this part, I just want to fix the edges. So I'm going to add my base color, spray it with water a little bit, then fix it with a plastic, cover it with a plastic and use my rubber roller to fix it. Style's kind of messy. It's kind of messy and has like a, a lot of texture on it. So I wasn't seeking any perfection on the edges or the whole piece. Just wanted to pop a little bit of the texture with all colors and add some beautiful gold like details to the piece. molds I'm using the amazing resin to create my molds I'm using Sicilian borders by redesign with Prima all I'm gonna do is mix my two solutions in one cup and pour it in my molds and wait 24 hours for it I'm gonna attach in my description box two kind of resins one can dry within 24 48 hours and one can dry within 10 minutes I like this one it kind of makes me play with my molds or with my resin kind of clear it empty the bubbles not really over pour the other one I'll be kind of stressed when I work with it because I have to finish fast you know it will literally dry within 10 minutes So after waiting 24 hours, it was completely dry. It wasn't cured, it wasn't hard enough. I can bend it because uh, I think it takes more than 24 hours to completely like uh, be hard. Anyway, the reason why I have more than one mold because I usually have more resin in my cup than what I'm using. So I like to pour that in different kind of molds and create, you know, 
molds for the future or for my future pieces. So here I'm using E6000 glue. I did paint it my mold before I attach it or glue it. All I'm gonna do is just fill the bag, spread it with my finger, and stick it to the piece. That was easy, right? Yeah, it's really easy and it will dry really fast. And before my glue dry, I just removed the extra glue with my nails because it has a lot of details, but I just used paper towel to remove all that. For the inside, I'm using redesign with Prima Beautiful Things Transfer to add a little bit of details to the inside part. For my last part, it's the gold leaf. I want to add a metal or gold leaf. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Mona Lisa adhesive. Um, it's kind of, it comes in a white. It will come white, <laughs> but when it dries, it will turn clear. So you can just add where you want your gold leaf to be and let it dry for half an hour. Then you can add your gold leaf. I bought this container probably four years ago, and I didn't even reach the half till now and yes it's working it's nothing wrong with it except for the top can start getting rusty but it's working i can just change the container worst case scenario right and here i wanted to add a little bit of line to my piece so i'm just gonna add the glue and let it dry then i'll add my gold leaf and just use a normal brush to clean that Just a point in your mind when you work with gold leaf is messy, but you know, it's cold everywhere. But yeah, it's messy. It's really messy, very delicate to, delicate to touch. So once you touch it, it will, it will break or it will rip. But it's very forgiving. If you mess it up, just let it dry, add glue and add again. If you mess, you know, miss this pot, you can just keep adding your leftovers from the project. They will dry to your gold leaf like they were part of it. Not you're not gonna see like, uh, if you know what I'm saying, like a small um, powdery gold leaf. I don't know, but it's very easy to work with. And I just wanted to add the same gold or the same gold color to the, uh, to the to my pool, so I'm just gonna use the gold leaf on it. I did seal it with a gold leaf sealer. I do recommend you use that, not a top coat like polyacrylic, polyethane, wax, or other top coats you use because it will kind of uh, change the sheen, your gold leaf sheen. It's not gonna be very shiny bright, it will be different. Thank you so much guys for watching please let me know if you like the video if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i really appreciate your support thank you so much mm -hmm.